Early on, uh, whenever I was growing up, I struggled big time with being very selfish, very prideful, thinking that I was more important than everybody else. Um, not necessarily on the forefront of my mind, but in my heart, that was definitely my attitude. I started off being insecure early on as a young teenager. And then eventually, as I got into high school, I started to come out in fits of rage, you know, putting holes in the wall, just over small, silly things, um, but getting very angry and feeling very justified in my head for being angry. Um, and little did I know it was, it was all just because of something that I was lacking. I started to seek a God whenever I was um, about 16, 17. And by seek God, I mean go to church. Uh, so I don't really know where my heart was at that point, but I know that he was drawing me near. And I thought that the battle was, just looking back now, I thought the battle was hard before Christ, but little did I know that I would be able to sin way more uh, and be way worse off um, after God started to draw me near. In fact, uh, one of my worst seasons of sexual impurity was right after I got saved. Um, and so I wasn't really bearing much fruit, even though Jesus had, had pulled me out of that and set me free, I was still choosing sin. So going through high school, coming to, to a church and starting to hear the word, um, didn't really understand the gospel until age 18. Uh, a Baptist pastor came up to me in a gas station and shared the gospel with me and I received Christ uh, at that moment. And that was just so beautiful. I remember the excitement just knowing, okay, I don't have to do anything uh, before my, my mindset was very works-based. Again, probably because of my inadequacy, thinking that I had to prove something or earn favor or earn significance or earn worth. And I put a lot of my value in good works and being a good person, being nice and being funny or whatever. And, um, and eventually that all just got wrecked when I understood that there's nothing I could do to get my way to heaven, but that Jesus had to reach down to me and pay for my sins. And, and therefore accepting that, that was just game changing. I got in a car accident when I was 19 years old. I was on my way home after hanging out with some friends. It was like five or six in the morning and uh, fell asleep on my highway going like 65 miles an hour and hit this tree. And I just remember in that moment thinking to myself, man, I could have died, this could have been it. But God kept me alive and I was so grateful. Um, and I felt like he was just holding me in his hand like, man, up, up until this point, you've been living for yourself. And so he changed all that at this car accident because I realized that it was all for nothing. It was all just emptiness. And I'd been living for nobody but myself. Um, so that's why I decided, okay, I gotta start living for God. I decided to go after him. I was like, all right, man, I'm gonna seek God. This is about him now, not myself. So I had this zeal for God. And it's been cool to, to see how, how God has changed my attitude uh, in those, just over those couple of years. Hi, my name is Jerry, and I'm part of the body here at CCF.